we're going to show two things. We're going to show uh, how the relief valve can properly be opened and closed and checked. And then we're going to show how we can adjust the high end pressure so that uh, you can uh, reduce it and put the pressure off point below the point where the relief valve is leaking. So Luis will first show you uh, how the relief valve will unscrew the valve. But uh, un unconnect the power first. Power off. For safety. Okay. Then go to the relief valve and then you're going to open it and close it. Normally you can turn you can turn it counterclockwise to open it. And it unscrews and you keep screwing it. Okay. Now it first unscrews and then you turn it. Keep turning it and then it reaches the point where it starts to leak. Of the valve. Now you close it. Make sure it's fully closed. We'll plug it in. Plug it in. So the next thing I want to show you is how you can adjust that so it turns off lower. Release the hand. Oh yeah, disconnect the power. Always be safe. Okay. Go ahead. Remove the cover. Next we'll show you the screw that you want to turn in order to adjust the turn off point. So go ahead and point out the screw that's going to be turned. That is the screw we're going to turn. Now in order to reduce the, pre the pressure which it's going to turn off, we turn counterclockwise. So we'll be turning it counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. Okay, now we're going to demonstrate uh, where, it, where, it, where it turns off again. So we'll plug it in. And then release the pressure until we get a, a get a result. bar. So we were able to reduce it from 19 bar to 16 bar. So if we wanted to go a little higher, uh, say we overshot and went too low and wanted to go a little higher, you would turn it clockwise. So turn this clockwise just a little bit. Same screws, clockwise to go higher, counterclockwise to go lower. Just go a little bit like a quarter turn. Clockwise down. There we go. The small amount of clockwise. We get to go a little bit higher because we, maybe we decided to overshoot it. See, our plan here is to show you how you can reduce the turnoff point so that the relief valve does not relieve itself. And as long as you're above 15 bar, you'll still be safe for operation. So go ahead and bleed it down again.
get that uh, 18 bar. So we've shown you how to reduce the turnoff point and increase the turnoff point. So first you check your relief valve by unscrewing it, let it blow, and then re-screwing it. And then you uh, adjust your adjust point lower so that the relief valve doesn't bleed, and that should solve your problem. Uh, I'll go ahead and return the cover. Thank you.